Hi, this is Troy Robotech Lyman coming to you from the Force 10 Racing Garage. Well, really just my garage, but hey, it sounds better that way, right? Anyway, today we're going to be putting on an LSJ throttle body onto an LE5 in a 2007 Saturn Sky. Uh, this Sky has been turbocharged, so soon as some of these things are going to look a little different if you're doing this on a stock LE5, but for the most part, everything's going to work just the same. So the first thing I'm going to show you is we have a adapter plate here. This adapter plate will allow us to fit the LSJ throttle body onto the LE5 manifold. Now the reason we have to have adapter plate is you can see there's two different bolt patterns here. The bolt patterns you see with the larger holes are the ones that are stock LE5, and the smaller ones are the ones that are going to be for the LSJ throttle body. Now, you may ask why we're doing that. Why are we doing an LSJ throttle body? Why make the change? And the reason is very simple. The throttle body that comes on the LE5 is about a 65.4 millimeter throttle body. The hole that it passes air through in the intake manifold is 66.5 millimeters, so it's slightly bigger. This makes the throttle body a bit of a choke point and a limiting factor when it comes to letting air into the engine. That's not the biggest reason, though. The new throttle body from the LSJ is a 67.4 millimeter throttle body, and that throttle body when you start to crack open the throttle from an idle is going to provide with a little bit better throttle response than the throttle body we currently have. The reason being is that butterfly inside the throttle body is a little bit bigger and as you move that throttle body the same amount as you would on the smaller throttle, by th throttle body you are still making the hole, the opening that that butterfly is creating larger because you have a larger circumference of the throttle body opening. So you can kind of see this is the part here we're talking about when we're talking about the butterflies, this kind of brass looking piece there. When this opens, it creates a little half moon shape on the bottom and the top. And with a smaller throttle body, that half moon is smaller for a given percentage of the throttle being open. So if the throttle is open 10%, this is going to have a bigger opening than that one. And that's going to create a better throttle response. You're going to get more air in, you're going to get more acceleration for that same throttle input and that is what most people generally refer to as throttle response. Now, the other thing we have to do, in addition for there being a different bolt pattern and a bigger throttle opening, we also have this little vacuum tube here. And this vacuum tube we're going to have to plug off and we're going to have to seal it pretty good, secure it really well. If we don't, this will see boost and when it sees boost, if that's not secure, it's going to go flying, creating a vacuum leak for us. That will screw up our tune, that will screw up our idle, that's going to screw up our fueling, that's just not a good thing, especially one that's that big, as you can see, that opening is pretty good size. Now the other thing, like I said, we mentioned the bolt pattern is different, intake's different, we have this here. The other thing that's different is the where this motor sits, and this assembly here, it's the gear that drives the throttle. That, on our current throttle body, sits kind of like that. Now imagine this being the opening where you attach your intake. So it sits kind of like that. That means the port's up here, all this assembly is on facing the firewall, and there's a vacuum port on the intake manifold right about there. To bolt this on with this up top, it'd go on like this, and now that vacuum port would be right there behind this motor, hitting this motor. Now that's not going to work. Now, what we also found is where the adapter plate sat, this needs to either sit in this position or this position. Now the problem with this position is this, once again, is going to be in the way of that vacuum port. So we need to have this sit kind of like that. So firewall this way, front of the car this way, vacuum port now sits about there, and that should clear, we hope. It means the plug's going to be over here, it's going to be on the back side of the throttle bodies and the front side like it is now, but we have clearance in the engine bay for that. We also have this little extension here that came with the throttle body adapter plate. That extension is going to extend this plug from here around to the front to meet up with the plug coming in from our harness, because they are wired slightly different. That will give us the length we need to reach this spot, and so this should go on all right. Now, we're not positive yet. We're not going to know until we actually put it on the car and see how everything lines up, and that's what we'll be doing next. All right. Here you can see our stock throttle body. 
this here is the throttle we're talking about and we only have one bolt out that is a bolt missing there that is okay we got three more here one two and three it's kind of down there i don't know if you can see it's kind of tight and that hose is kind of in the way now the way we have to orient our throttle body with that motor side down that motor is going to sit right about here and come up this side and as you can see that's going to clear it's going to go underneath our pipe here coming in from an air cooler if you have a cold air intake on your 2.4 that's what this is going to be if you have the stock intake you're going to have kind of like a big air box here that's going to then go down to the air filter down there in front with the intercooler and the turbo setup we don't have that but that's okay again it's going to be pretty similar to what you have now this hose may get in the way a little bit ignore that if you don't have a turbo that's all for my turbo setup this hose is going from your intake manifold down here up and over to your brake booster back here this hose can just move a little bit if we need to we can loosen this clamp down here and then move that hose a little bit rotate it and re-secure the clamp so the next step is going to be to take out those four screws that we were just talking about and we're going to give it a little more light here because this is a little off there we go so we got these four screws three now that we have that one out so we'll take those those all out and as we do that um, then that throttle body come right off you do want to have a rag or something handy like this here like we have so you can plug that throttle body or that intake manifold if you're not working on it because you don't want anything falling down into there that would be bad metal going in your intake and playing around with your valves would not be fun okay throttle body's out and that's what we're left with the intake manifold as you can see there's not a lot to it you got a little bit of gasket there we're going to probably put a little bit of RTV on that just skosh to make sure we seal that up well and um, again, you want to make sure you have a rag or something in there, just so you don't let anything fall in. Um, here is the old throttle body. Let's compare it to the new one, so you guys can kind of get a difference of size. Fortunately, I have is a very curved fender well, so but here you go. Know, you can kind of see the size difference. It's not again, it's not a huge difference between the two, but it's substantial, and that should give us about 10% uh, more flow, uh, which is going to be a Good difference on our uh, throttle response and um, maybe pick up a little bit of power but we're not expecting much more than uh, a few if anything that's really not our main purpose of this alrighty okay so here we are with the new adapter plate installed I keep getting this horrible glare off my light from it so you can't angle that away a bit well it is bright it is shiny it is new there we go there's something with no glare all right, so there's the new throttle plate adapter installed. Uh, you want to make sure that you torque those down slowly, those bolts, just so that everything lines up nice and even, uh, and that the heads go into those holes completely. Everything sits nice and flush on top of it, because you don't want any of this protruding out. If it does, then your new throttle body is not going to sit nice and flush like it should. So these are all nice and flat. Everything's flush with the top of that deck. That is ready to go on. We'll clean that up a little bit with some throttle body cleaner. Uh, you want to use something that's safe for plastic, obviously, because we have a plastic a section there that you do not want to get a whole bunch of stuff into right so as with anything that you're doing like this we did run into a bit of a problem now the good news is this new throttle body good news is this throttle body is going to fit and clear perfectly as you can see this is about where it's going to sit just like that there we go uh we're gonna have to move obviously the, the plug's not going to sit in that position but it clears everything there's all the there's all the holes lined up. So that's how it's going to sit on the plate. You can see the motor's not going to be down below, but everything's clearing real nice and neat. But there's one little problem. This part of the throttle body. One little problem. This part of the throttle body here is a lot thicker than that same part of the throttle body on the LE5. As you can see there. This section much thinner than that section. What that means is the stock bolts that you're supposed to reuse, yeah, they're not going to work. So, as is often the case, we're now going to have to go to Home Depot. We're going to take the throttle body. We're going to take one of the screws with us. And in doing so, we're going to sit there and see what we can get to fit. That's the same thread pitch, same kind of design. We may have to do a hex nut with a washer, separate washer, instead of the one piece design like OEM. But we'll figure something out that's going to reach and going to give us the uh, clearance we need. Uh, we're going to take both throttle bodies with us, actually, so we can see how much that stock screw protrudes below this stock flange so we know how deep that needs to be on the other side of this throttle body to properly engage this. Anyway, that's it for now. All right, so it's night, and we're back. We got the old throttle body off. 
you can see, compared to the new throttle body that we have here, there's a bit of a size difference between the two. Uh, this one, and it's not a huge difference, but it is a difference for sure. This is getting them where they're both about even as far as the tip of them is concerned. But anyway, there is a bit of a difference there. This one's obviously a little bit bigger. Uh, it's going to give us a little bit more response is what we're hoping. We found our spacer on. We got some uh, little vacuum tube caps that are going to go on this little extra port here on the throttle body. And uh, we'll get this bolted up and it shouldn't take us too long. Okay. One thing I do want to talk about real quick. Uh, we have the adapter plate on the intake manifold. Uh, and as you can see here, there's a big white rag stuck in it. You definitely want to do this whenever you have your throttle body off because you don't want anything getting down in that intake manifold. Otherwise, you got an entirely larger mess on your hands. So, uh, I'm not going to work on this while I'm talking on here because the camera's kind of sitting here in my way. We don't have a lot of room here to, to work on and film at the same time. Uh, I will see in the future about putting this somewhere else, maybe on the hood, where we can film my work. But for right now, I'm going to let you go. And next time you see this, we'll hopefully have the throttle body on the adapter. Now, there's always that one part in the video where you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you something and point something out. So I'm going to do that now. And I already mentioned it earlier before I realized that the bolts were the wrong size for the throttle body, naturally. But remember, we had that little vacuum port here on the throttle body. Well, we've plugged that now with a little vacuum port cap that we got from AutoZone. Put a little zip tie on it just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. And if anyone ever knows me, they know I live and die by zip ties. car has a ton of them. They're great little things for things like this that you don't have a clamp for. You don't need a clamp for. You just need that little bit of extra holding power. They're light. They're easy. They're cheap. Perfect. Don't be ashamed to use zip ties if that's all the job. Okay, for. so here we are. New throttle body is in place. Everything's secure. We got the right screws after a second trip to Lowe's. The fitting memories were too long. We got some 30s and we got some 40s. The 30s were definitely too short. 40s seemed to be about right, but uh, 45s I'd feel maybe a little more comfortable with. Let me change those out. As you can see, it's not very hard to get to them, so it'd be a matter of just pulling the intake off here. Uh, just two bolt clamps, two T bolts, one here, one here. Again, Yours will look a little different if you are still in A, and if you're still stock. Uh, we have our little plug sitting over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's nice and securely on our uh, throttle body. We'll keep an eye on that. I don't know if you can see it's kind of buried back here behind the plugs. There it is. Down there. Hello, Mr. Rubber Plug. Uh, here's the extension. You can see the harness extension here uh, coming over the top, coming from the back side of the throttle body there and coming up over this way to the stock harness. That's about where I plugged into the stock throttle body. Just kind of did 180, you can tell from the way the loom's sitting. But uh, that looks all nice and good and clean, and I think we're gonna clear everything. Uh, that's my next concern. I haven't closed the hood yet. Oh, that may be one problem too. Hey, might want to plug the map back in, math back in. Um, but she's looking good. Everything's looking very well. Uh, she's running pretty good. We'll fire her up here and uh, show you how she runs. There you have it. She is running. She is sounding good. She's looking good. Idle's nice and steady. Fuel trims are a little rich, but that's kind of to be expected. I mean, she's got to relearn everything, so she's getting a little, little richer there. So that's our little leaner, back to about 14.7, which is where we want her. So she's learning that throttle body pretty well. There we go, settling in. It'll take some time, but overall, I think that was pretty good. We'll see how the flower response is driving it. Uh, we may get it for a spin tomorrow to be late tonight to do it. But um, she's all buttoned up. She's ready to go, running smooth. Maybe we put a new mouth in her. Uh, mouth might have gotten a little dirty when we uh, blew the head gasket. I thought we cleaned it out with a new mouth, but I may be wrong. I can't remember because it's been so long. This is what happens when you get old and you work on cars. But uh, we'll take a look at it and see what we can do. But otherwise, there she is in all her glory. And uh, with that new uh, throttle body in place and a new map, hopefully she'll keep running real good like she is. That's it for now. Until next time, we'll see you later.